Welcome back. And for the record, Gary, I do like your tie. I just like the bow tie. <laughs> but this tie has like a cool back, background story of this tie. Oh, this is Jerry Garcia tie. So Jerry Garcia was a longtime leader of the Grateful Dead. Of course, he's no longer with us, but he designed a bunch of ties. And I have a lot of them, so we're hanging it's, around the closet. It's so. cool. I'm just accustomed to the bow tie. Yeah, I was wearing the blue and gold polka dots yesterday on the bow tie. So, but that's kind of a, a, a Saturday good luck to the Irish thing, right? So, you know, I went to the traditional one today. I, I like it. You, can, you can't go wrong, Gary Seaver. You yeah. can't go wrong um, with getting out today because it's going to be nice it's outside. It's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You could do anything around here. You could go to the Bears game if you want over at Soldier Field. Oh, that reminds me. I have a poem about the NFL. Here you go. The weather could be worse. Yeah, I know it's a Sunday, but uh, we'll try it anyway. You know, why not? The NFL season gets underway with some rivalry affairs, but it won't be a frozen tundra today when the Packers play the Bears. Oh, talk about a rivalry. There's an old black and blue division. Uh, the Packers and the Bears go at it today, and uh, they will be over at Soldier, F Soldier Field in Chicago, where the temperature will top out around 80 degrees. They'll have some sunshine over there, probably some clouds moving in late in the game, but uh, it should be uh, a, an interesting contest now with both of those teams changing quite a bit, and of course Aaron Rodgers having moved on to the New York jets at this point so we'll see 53 degrees currently here in south bend with calm winds it's a beautiful start to a beautiful day and as we uh, take leave of that we'll show you the uh, sunrise in michigan city which is now above my head in fact if i stand in the right spot hey i look saintly how about that and uh, you can see the clear horizon out there now we have had some fog Michigan City this morning currently at 50 degrees with those calm conditions and St. Joe no fog apparent there. In fact, you can see all the people out on the pier who are uh, getting some fishing in this morning because the waves are almost non-existent. Uh, the best they'll be today is about one foot, but uh, right now the winds have been calm and so things are very nice up there indeed. Satellite radar combination will show you that we're in between a couple of systems and all of this rain that came through in delayed games yesterday for Notre Dame and Purdue and Virginia and in North Carolina is out to the east of us. We've got our next system coming in here from the west. That won't affect us today, but it will tomorrow. And you can see some of those clouds coming into Chicago, but I talked about the fog. You can see our visibility here in miles. Pretty heavy, actually, if you go down to the south, down around Warsaw, Rochester, Plymouth, you know, some visibilities that are less than a mile. Uh, some of these uh, projections are saying zero. I don't know at this point that it would still be zero because with the sun on the rise, uh, that fog will begin to break up. But still, be careful if you're out driving this morning because those conditions could be tough in terms of visibility. Uh, current conditions right now, uh, most people are in the low to mid 50s. We've got a couple of 60 degree readings up at St. Joe, for example, so it's a little bit warmer up there. And as we take a look at our Lake Michigan forecast, if you're headed up to the beach today, it's a good day actually to get out to the beach. Hey, for September, that's not bad. The Temperature right along the shoreline will be in the low 70s. The water also in the low 70s, but a good deal of sunshine up along the shoreline today, and the swim risk is low with waves only about a foot, as I mentioned, without much wind. Uh, in terms of rain amounts over the next several days, you can see today all the way through 11 o'clock tonight, no rain, all right? But watch what happens here as we head through Monday. We start to pick it up, and so by Monday evening, we're seeing probably half an inch of rain in some spots, half an inch to maybe an inch of rain by Tuesday and into Wednesday. So some of these rainfalls could be uh, a rather super soaker kind of event. It won't be a downpour. It'll be just sort of a gradual all-day rain uh, on Monday and Tuesday. Well, the NFL is back. We've got your forecast here. Jacksonville comes into uh, Indianapolis. Of course, they're playing at Lucas Oil Stadium, so they're indoors, but outside it'll be nice. I mentioned 80 degrees and partly cloudy at uh, Chicago where the uh, Packers come in. Philadelphia and New England go at it. Out in uh, Foxborough, it'll be 76 degrees with some sunshine. And this afternoon at 1 o'clock, Tampa Bay and Minnesota to tee it up. And again, that is an enclosed stadium, so you don't have to worry about it uh, being out in the rain in Minneapolis. Here's your 10-day forecast for all of Michiana. We're looking at a high today near 78 degrees. A lot of sunshine in there. We'll probably start to pick up some clouds as we head into the later hours. And by tomorrow, those clouds will be in. And by the afternoon, it'll be raining and more rain likely as we head into the evening and overnight hours. Tuesday, same thing. So we pick up uh, maybe half an inch to an inch of rain, it looks like, from that uh, big system. Temperatures take a dip, but then recover by next weekend on the bad side. Looks like uh, we now have at least a projection of maybe some rain in the forecast for next Saturday when Notre Dame.